So I'm going to start off by just heading on over to Google and searching smart notebook and see what that brings me now smart learning suite management smart notebook we want this one right here smart notebook 17 is the version that i was looking for i am going to choose to download that and that is going to take me to a page that says i'd like a trial of this i'd like to free download a smart notebook basic i already purchased a license purchased a license well let's try the i'd like a free download of smart notebook basic version so click that and here you're going to put in all of your information just to kind of quick register the product. Once that's in, you click the download button down here. So I put in all my information. You have to check this box right here that says, I agree that's smart or a smart representative is going to contact you by phone or by email or something like that. Um, you can unsubscribe to that if you'd like and make sure you are, if you're using windows, get the windows operating system. Um, if you're on a Mac, uh, switch this to Mac. Um, a lot of times this website will detect that, but since all the information is in, I go ahead and click download. Uh oh, there we go. I forgot my state. That was a whoops. Now it has downloaded smart 19. Um, turns out I'm going to get this smart 19 version. Uh, I can't actually get the older version that I'm used to because it's going to give me a trial and doesn't look like you have any options to go um, any older than smart notebook 18. So now that that's done, I can go down here and go ahead and click in my download bar um, the file and start to install it. It's going to go through some prompts. Yes, install. Um, what do you want? Standard includes all these different things. So I would really like to do a customize. So personally, I am not going to, on my home computer, use these things right here. So I am not going to do the activities, the assessments, the smart ink, or really the smart product driver because I'm not going to connect any equipment to it at home. So I'm going to customize and see if it will let me choose only smart notebook and I think it will. Okay, so let's see here. Take out the driver, um, learning activity toolkit, gallery. I'm going to take this out for now because it's a pretty big install. Um, but that's up to you. You can leave these things in here if you choose. I mean, ultimately I just want smart notebook because I'm going to open up some files that I already had. So I'm going to click next and put it in the system menu at logon. I don't want smart to start up every time I start my computer. I want to be in charge of that. So I'm going to uncheck that. And then good chance. I'm going to do this in English. Interesting. Oh, English United States is already selected, so I'm good. Click next and install to begin. So this is actually an installer, so it's going to download the software first. So it's kind of a really light download, and so it's actually downloading the rest of all the software. Um, instead of in the olden days, you would download one super giant file and then install it. Now these little software suites will kind of say, okay, what do you want? Give me the parameters and then download what it needs. So hopefully it tries to make things a little bit faster for you. Okay, so that took a little bit longer. Uh, I paused it there and kind of sped up the download process. This is it. what happens when it's done. It says it's finished and you are ready to go. And uh, there's a checkbox here that says help smart improve software allowing you to connect with anonymous usage statistics. You can choose to have that checked or not checked and then click finish. And um, while I was waiting to download and install that program, I went to the smart exchange and I just kind of went to the kindergarten section and found the most downloaded. So this is like this is the file that's most popular. And um, this smart notebook file is something I see a lot. I see it um, around a lot. So I'm going to download that and just have that ready because that's what I want to open up and just get a look at that. So it got downloaded and this should launch smart notebook for me. Otherwise, I would have just opened up smart notebook and it would have um, done like a welcome page and those kinds of things. Now, key thing here, this is um, welcome to smart notebook software. You have a trial for 45 days. Um, right now we have like full tilt smart notebook and your choices are to subscribe, which you can pay for. It's a month or it's a yearly fee, 
or enter in um, an, an, a license or something like that already. Um, I don't have any of those things. I am only going to live with the free version. So um, I'll have it for 45 days, the full full amount, and then um, later we'll see what it looks like after 45 days. So I'm going to click OK. And here comes that morning calendar, something that we're used to. Now it's um, this is an old file. This is going to happen to almost all new computers. Uh, these files are kind of made in the olden days where you had a resolution. Um, your you know your monitor was set up in a, almost a more square aspect ratio. So when I make this bigger, um, it'll it'll fill the screen, but you know it's going to cut things off. So you have to kind of make some adjustments to how this is going to look. So you may come here and just say, okay, I need the entire page to show. And then you'll have these gray sections here. These gray sections here are just kind of out of the border. Um, people always ask about how come I can't draw on that section because it's not an active space. It's it's kind of like um, like this is the window and this is the wall, and so you can see through the window um, to your content, but you can't see through the wall to your content. So um, this is a popular smart notebook file. It's been around for a long, long time. I see it used in a lot of different classrooms. You can see people have written in here, but um, what it allows you to do is kind of move these calendars around. You have um, different pieces that you can switch and swap out. So if you want to go from April to um, a new month, you can do that. There are page instructions here for all that good information. I do believe I think at the very end is all the icons. So as you switch months, people copy from here and then they move to the new pages and that's how that gets done. So that is um, what it's going to look like now for installing Smart Notebook. I do have like the activities. I, w I didn't want to load that, but it turns out I get the full version. Um, so I have that there, um, but I don't um, want to really get too invested in that because I know it's going to go away as soon as the trial's over. By the way, I just noticed that this is morning calendar 2010. So this is being recorded in 2019. So it's been nine years. So this file is a little bit dated. Um, just as we talked about the aspect ratio, it just doesn't match like normal computers anymore. So it's one of those things you might want to refer back to and then try to update for more modern technology. Okay, that's that. We're going to take a look at what this looks like 45 days later.